Hi students, so let's uh, understand uh, decimal fractions and uh, in decimal fraction, we will learn how to uh, multiply a decimal number by a decimal number, decimal number by a whole number, and also division of a decimal number by a decimal number or a decimal number by a whole number. These are the few basic mathematical calculation we should understand. Now, uh, to make it easy, let me tell you some uh, interesting things that in case of a multiplication of a decimal number by a whole number, especially when the whole number has got zeros in it, it's very easy. Write the number 5.3. Then move the decimal on the right hand side equal to the places as there are number of zeros. For example, in this question, there are two zeros. So I'm going to move the decimal on the right hand side by two places. So this decimal will first go on the right hand side one place and then another place. So if there is no number, I'll put zero and then I'll put decimal. So this decimal has actually moved two places, one and two. So what is the answer I can see? 530. Very simple to understand. Count the number of zeros, move the decimal on the right by two places equal to the number of zeros. Two places, push this decimal one and two and the decimal has come here and the answer is 530. Let me take one more example, 0 0.02 in 2000, a decimal by a whole number. How will you write the answer? First write 0 0.02. Now I am going to move this decimal on the right hand side. How many places? Number of zeros, which are three. So I'm going to move this decimal on the right by three places, one, two, and three. Okay, so this decimal has now moved here. How many places? One decimal moves here. Again, two decimal moves here. And the third, so the decimal moves here. So what is the answer you can see? 20 is the answer. So 0.02 in 2000 is 20. I hope you get the, got the clarity in multiplication. Division is the reverse of multiplication. In this case, we are dividing by 1000, which means this number will become smaller and smaller, which means my decimal should move on the left-hand side, not on the right, on the left-hand side. How many places? Equal to the number of zeros three zeros, which means I'll take this decimal on the left-hand side by three places. So I'm just first going to write 0 0.06. Now I'll take this decimal three places on the left. One, okay, two, okay, and three. So the decimal will come here. Look at this. This decimal has moved three places, one, two, and three. So what is the answer? 0 0.00006. Can you see this? One, two, three, four, and six. And this is the answer. And this is the answer. So the moment you see a multiplication or a division, either you have to move the decimal on the right or you have to move the decimal on the left. Let's do the third one. It seems very simple. Division means decimal will move on the left-hand side. How many places? Only one zero, so one place. So let me first write the number 573.69. Now you know that decimal will move one place. So what is the answer? 57.369. So simple, done. Whether you get uh, any complex number, any complex division, 
we can solve it by either moving the decimal on the right or on the left, depending whether it's a multiplication or division. All right, let's see this multiply. Now, this is done. Now, let's see another set of questions where the multiplication of, is of decimal by decimal. Again, let's see the trick. First, forget where the decimal is. Simply multiply the two numbers given, 13 and 9. What is the answer? 9, 3 is at 27, 2, 1, 1, 7. I am going to write 117 as if it was a normal multiplication of 13 and 9. Now, second is to see where the decimal is, right? So we will see both the numbers. In this, it is two places on the left. So 1, 2, and in for the other number, it is again 1, 2. So we add up. One, two, three, four. So I have to count four places on the left and then put a decimal. So one, two, three, four, and put a decimal. And this is the answer. So 0 0.0117. It is very important for you to understand where to put the decimal. The moment you put the decimal here, you get the answer. So again, I repeat, multiply the numbers and then count where is the decimal, how many places on the left in both numbers and then add up one, two, three, four and put a decimal. Let's do one more. Again, let's only focus on the number five twos are 10. I'll write the number 10, okay? Now I'll see where the decimal is in both the numbers. One decimal, it is one, only one uh, place on the left and three places here. So one plus three, four. I'll start counting one, two, three, four, and I'll put quickly a decimal. And then you can make another decimal, but this decimal has to be here and answer is 0 0.0010. Okay, let's do one more. Now, 278 and four. I will first multiply 278 and 4. 8 was a 32, 3, 7 was a 28, that's 331, 3, 1, 1, triple 1, 2. I'll write triple 1, 2. As simple as a multiplication. Then I'll start finding out how many places the decimal is in both cases. 1 here, 2 here, 1 and 2, 3. So 1, two, three, and I will put the decimal in between. And so my answer is 1.112. So simple, right? And now let's quickly see the division of a decimal by a decimal. How do we do this? Let's understand one more trick. So this is written as if I say division. So this is written as 0 0.0256 divided by 0 0.16. Now, remember, when it is a division of decimal by decimal, try to remove the decimal in the denominator. What is the denominator? Which is written below the line. Remove the decimal. How do we remove the decimal? by multiplying 100 in the denominator. Simple. If I have to remove the decimal, I'll have to multiply 100 in the denominator. Now, if I have multiplied 100 in the denominator, I'll have to multiply 100 in the numerator as well. I hope you are understanding. The trick is that I am going to remove the decimal in the denominator. How should I remove the decimal? How should I make it a whole number? How should I make it 16? By multiplying it by 100. All right, so now the denominator becomes 16 because I multiply 0.16 into 100, two decimal on the right, we have just studied here. So this becomes 16. Now I'll have to multiply 100 with the numerator. So two decimal on the right. So the numerator becomes 2.56. Now we still have a decimal but the division or the denominator is of 
whole number. Now we simply divide as if we divide any other number, 2.56. Is 16 going by two? No. So I'll put a decimal. This decimal moves on the right. 25, yes. 16 ones are 16, right? And this is 96. So 16 six are 96. Now this will require practice a bit. So what is the answer? 0 0.16. So what is the answer here? 0 0.16. I again repeat, in case uh, there is a confusion, I repeat, always make the division, which is in decimal or denominator in decimal, a whole number. How should I make 0.16 a whole number? By multiplying by 100. The moment I multiply by 100, this becomes 16. From 0.16, it becomes 16. And I'll have to multiply by 100 in the numerator because I have multiplied by 100 in the denominator. It has to be same, right? And then I get 2.56 in the numerator because this jumps on the right-hand side and I get 0 0.16. Let's do this question. 0 0.004 divided by 0 0.0002. Now, I have to make a whole number. Denominator, I have to make whole number, which means I have to do away with that decimal. How many, what number should I multiply? One, two, three, four. I should multiply by one, two, three, four. 10,000. If I multiply by 10,000, I'll have to multiply by 10,000 in the numerator also. This in the denominator becomes two. Multiply, you get two. And what do you get in the numerator? Four, one, two, three, and four. So I, I get 40. And 40 divided by two is 20. And this is the answer. I hope you are understanding what I'm trying to do. And a very simple, similar question is 0 0.0128, right? I'll write here 0 0.0128 divided by eight. Denominator is already a whole number. So simply eight and inside 0 0.0128. Will it go? No, so I'll put a decimal. So this decimal moves here. Will it go? No, I'll put zero. Will it go? No, it will come here. Will it go? So 12 and now eight ones are eight, 48 and eight six are 48. So the answer is 0 0.0016. This will require practice of it. By, but I hope you have understood exactly how to solve these questions. I hope you liked it. I hope you will practice. See you in the next one.